Hi everyone, this is Trish from Bird Feed. Welcome back for another Operation Christmas Child shoebox unboxing. This one I've packed for a girl aged five to nine and it has a Moana theme. And I, I actually had started collecting for this for next year. Um, it was not gonna happen this year because I was unable to find a Moana doll and I felt it really needed one. But I found one just recently. I've uh, wrapped it with some wrapping paper that I just got at the Dollar Tree with all the Disney princesses, which included Moana and her piglet Pua, I think is how you pronounce that. And I decorated the inside of the lid with some packaging I saved. This came from the front cover of some stickers, I think. And with foam stickers, I wrote, you are loved. And then this is what she'll see when she opens her box. On top, we have Moana with a fantastic head of hair. I found her recently at a thrift store uh, in a box. She was in her original box and um, the box was inside a plastic bag with another doll. Unfortunately, I had to buy the two of them together, um, but it was only $2 for the two dolls. So I'm going to say Moana cost a dollar. And I did include a hairbrush in her box for the girl, for the young girl, but she can use it to brush Moana's hair. Here is that hairbrush. I've been wanting, <laughs> I've had this for a while and came from the Dollar Tree and I've been wanting to put it in a shoebox. And at the last minute, I was able to squeeze it in this overly stuffed box. I repacked it until I was able to fit in that hairbrush. Um, and there are, the colors in here are pink, purple, and aqua. Now Moana has a pet pig, Pua, and I was really looking for a small little pig figurine, but um, I couldn't, couldn't find one for this box. And uh, I had this little pig in my stash. It was only nine cents on clearance. And that's why I bought it. It was only nine cents. I thought that is gonna come in handy for something. And it did. And this is not her plush. This is just something extra to represent Pua. And I don't think Pua is gonna sit. Oh, there she goes. Her plush is this Thai beanie. Her name is Alana. She has a felt grass skirt and a lei, and uh, actually Alana is what uh, began my wanting to do this shoebox um, with a Moana theme. I thought she would work out perfect. She's got a pair of Moana sunglasses, one dollar last year from Walmart on clearance. This shoebox does not have an outfit, believe it or not, because if you, those of you who watch my channel regularly know I, I pretty much put an outfit or at least a t-shirt in pretty much every shoebox that I do. But I couldn't fit it in this one uh, because of some big items that I have in here. So I did include a pair of pink flip-flops I, I thought those would be perfect. Here is one of the bigger items that's taking up so much space in the shoe box. And it is a backpack. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up because I've got something rolled inside. And I do want you to see the print because it is so pretty. It's a great print. Has hibiscus on it, which is perfect for this Moana themed shoe box. It even goes well with her flip-flops. And inside, I had to roll it around this Mo Jumbo Moana pen that I got recently at the Dollar Tree. Um, when I put in the hairbrush, I could not fit both this and the brush in, but 
I unrolled that backpack and rolled this up in the middle and I was able to squeeze it in. Where there's a will, there's a way. And that pen I purchased to go with her journal, which has a lenticular of Moana. And when you tilt it, you see Ariel on there. But I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. Let's take her spiral notebook out of there. So she's got a spiral notebook for school. Her pencil pouch coordinates with her notebook in this purple color. And this one I picked up at uh, Family Dollar for 50 cents. I believe it was Family Dollar. And it's got uh, the glitter uh, inside the, it's like sandwiched in between two layers of vinyl. And inside she has uh, a, one of those stackable fish crayon pens. They're actually crayons. And eight pencils. Three, four are decorated and four are number two yellow. The decorated ones have plaid and butterflies and daisies and rainbows. And she's got a rainbow colored pencil, a black and a blue pen, a purple scissor, three highlighter pens or markers. She's got a couple of erasers, a Ticonderoga eraser and a unicorn eraser. And then she's only got one sharpener in here. I'll have to add a couple sharpeners because one is, is not enough and I've got plenty. So that's what's in her pencil pouch. I gave her a little bracelet making kit and it comes with the satin cords and all these letters. You can write whatever you'd like and comes in this vinyl resealable um, package with a little pom-pom on it in that aqua blue color. Here's the other big thing in her box. I picked up two of these last year at Walgreens after Christmas for $1.99. One went in my bell box. It was Beauty and the Beast, and this one is Moana. And inside, I've given her a lay. I got this in the summertime at the Dollar Tree. I was looking for a blue one or pink or purple, but green is, was what I found. And I like this one because it has beads in between the flowers of the lay. And in this little aqua heart-shaped container, she's got a little ring, just a cost little play ring, toy ring to play dress up and hair accessories. She's got a bow, a multicolored bow with a little charm on it. This is one of those Jojo Siwa bows. It's also studded with rhinestones. And I attached it to this um, elastic hair band. And then I bundled some uh, hair elastics with a pretty organza ribbon. And she's got a few hair barrettes in here. The snap barrettes, a couple of gold glitter, and a couple that are, well, kind of that, I don't know what you'd call that coloration, like holographic. And then I made for her this necklace. All these beads are what I have have in my craft stash, including this leather um, cord, everything I had in my stash, and I just made this one to mimic somewhat of what Moana wears, and I, th I thought um, it would be appropriate in size for a, uh, or scale I should say, for a five to nine year old girl. And the last things in her jewelry box are three bouncy balls. 
Now she's got three pairs of underwear. I wasn't able to fit in an outfit, but I was able to fit in underwear. And I put in three pairs. One is a size six, a girl size six, and two are a girl size eight. And she's also got socks. And um, I thought these reminded me uh, a bit of Moana. They're adventurous socks. They have like a tent and leaves. And th these say, let the adventure begin. And that reminds me of Moana. So she's got two pairs of socks. She's got a soap dish with a bar of soap, her letter and photo from me addressed to beautiful child. I gave her a puzzle. This is a Moana puzzle. And when we get down to the bottom, I've collapsed the box. So she'll have some place to store the puzzle pieces when she's not using it. I wasn't able to fit the pencil pack in the shoe box with this sharpener. So I guess that's why I only gave her one of these. So there we go. She's got an enclosed piranha pencil sharpener in purple. Her washcloth is one of those magic towels. It's a Moana washcloth. And I gave her a skipping rope or jump rope. 10 cents from Walmart. I was fortunate enough to find a coloring book, an actual Moana coloring book. I found this at Dollar General on clearance. I think I still paid probably a dollar for it, uh, maybe a little bit less. But I liked it because inside, it actually tells the story of Moana. And um, I thought it had some great pictures in here. There are also activities. So I was super pleased to find that. And inside I slipped some stickers, Disney princess stickers. This one has Moana on it in two places and more Disney princess stickers, some other stickers of fairies and unicorns and fingerling stickers. So I was excited to have found that. And she has a pack of crayons so she can color in her coloring book. She's got a purple toothbrush with a purple cap, a um, flexible purple ruler with inches and centimeters. I slipped in there some lenticulars, which I'm probably going to stick in her soap dish. Of a kitten, a puppy, trolls, and a spirit. And then this is her puzzle, or the puzzle box, that I flattened and left on the bottom so she can reconstruct and put her puzzle pieces in it. It has uh, Moana with her pig, Pua. So that's what it looks like when it's done. And I got that at the Dollar Tree. So that's my Moana shoebox for a five to nine year old girl. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, let me know with a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I love reading your comments. Think about subscribing if you're not already, and then I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.